Ooh, danger line. Someone's playing a dangerous game. Someone's walking a danger line. Someone could be in danger. Danger could be significant. Drink on it. So someone is walking a dangerous line. They're drinking. Someone could be at a crossroads trying to figure out what to do. Uh, someone could maybe feel like their life's in danger. They could be drinking maybe. Someone feels like they could be alone and forsaken. And someone's playing games. So someone was playing a dangerous game. You know, possibly going back and forth. Someone could have gotten ghosted because someone feels alone and forsaken. So they could be drinking. Someone could be afraid of <clears throat> reaching for the sky. So someone could be saying a prayer or they could be reaching for the sky um, because they're going to be getting arrested. But someone here is being liberated. Someone's being set free. So there's something freeing about this. You could have been praying for freedom or to be set free from something. Um, something has been difficult. Someone also may be praying to set themselves free from being connected to the games that they played because this, this is a dangerous game for a reason. So somebody could have been up to some shady shit, you know, things that may not have been necessarily on the up and up on the legal side of things. So someone could be afraid of their connection to participating in something that they thought was all fun and games, but it turns out it's more serious than they thought. <clears throat> yeah, something's coming crashing down, wrecking ball. Something is wrecking, something is wrecked, someone's plans are wrecked. Someone may look at you like you're a hero. You know, like you're on the upside of things. And maybe they're an anti-hero. So they may be upset that anyone views you as a hero. They feel incomplete without you. So they feel like they're missing you. One kiss from you. They're missing you. They've kissed you before. They're thinking about your kisses. They could be wanting forgiveness with absolution here. But they kept putting you on a roller coaster ride. So it's like I said. They were playing games. They were going back and forth. They were playing a dangerous game. They could have been connected to dangerous people. They could have had ulterior motives for coming towards you in the first place. But they fell victim to Cupid. Cupid's victim is here. So while they were busy... Um, you know, trying to send you on a roller coaster ride and keep you confused and distract you and do all these crazy things. Um, they're missing you. They're thinking about your kisses. Um, and they're having a hard time admitting it, but they love you. And once again, this message is not for everyone, but for whoever it is for. When you're bored and someone tells you to read a book, someone was bored, okay? So someone may have done something out of boredom. It's like they had nothing better to do. That face you make while people are singing happy birthday, you may have been disgusted or may have felt uncomfortable about something. Someone may have felt uncomfortable about doing something, but they were bored. It's like, oh, what else am I going to do? Like, so maybe someone was killing time or they just needed some excitement in their life. When someone says, check out my blog, they could have been watching you on social media. Maybe they came across you on social media, or it's someone that you are, you were already with. If, you, if they kissed you, you would have had to have known them in person. When your chip breaks in the salsa. So something is broken. Something got broke. Mm. Or something broke off. Something got damaged. Or something ended before someone expected it to. When you're watching Chopped and the Chef decides to make a vinaigrette with less than a minute left. Yeah, so something ended quicker or something broke quicker than it, something expected. Maybe they broke down quicker than expected. You know what I mean? Like, uh, maybe they expected to have a little time going back and forth with you playing games. You know, they had nothing better to do. Maybe they were bored in a relationship or situationship they were in. Or maybe they were just single and had, you know, they just needed some excitement. But they were playing games. When you see someone pour milk in their bowl before their cereal. So this is, you know, maybe how you view the situation. You're just like, you know what, someone put the cart before the horse. Someone was just messing around. Like, something is just disgusting to you. You may feel disgusted by someone um, or their behavior. That's why you could have cut something off. Because their behavior was just ridiculous and childish. And you don't deal with childish people. Especially, you know, you're a grown-ass adult. You don't play games. You know what I'm saying? So when you see something that gives you that ick factor, you're just like, no, nah, I, I don't think so. 
The secret to a good relationship is not having one. So this person could have lied about being in a relationship with someone else or lied about wanting to have some sort of relationship with you. Someone has dark intentions. They were not grounded. So someone has dark intentions with you. They're not grounded. Um, they could have used children to unground you or they were acting childish, like I said. So somebody wasn't grounded. They were acting childish. They were playing games like hide and seek, chase me. Um, you know, like run, chase, bullshit. Now something is rough for this person with dark intentions or this person on the wrong side of things here. <sighs> Someone could also be, um, a black skin color or darker skin tone with the black here rough. Something may be harder than this person thought it was going to be. Maybe they didn't expect to have to get over you if something didn't because they thought they were just, you know, it's like, while it was just fun for them, you know, if they just date to get laid, you're the kind of person that would date to get married or something like that. So, you know, when someone gives you that ick factor and you know something may not work out long term, you may cut things off rather quickly. You're moving on. The show must go on. So while something may be hard for them, you're moving on. And this could make things hard for them emotionally, maybe seeing you move on so quickly. Or seem unbothered or unfazed by how... You know, how childish they were. Maybe they, they expected you to hurt a little bit. Maybe they expected the pain to linger. <laughs> you have a lot going on, many. Okay, so maybe you have many responsibilities. Maybe you have, you know, a family or children you're taking care of. You know, the show goes on. You have many things to do. Um, you may have um, a lot of decisions to make, a lot of plans to make. You're a busy person with Minnie here, okay? You're very busy. You know, with the doctor, with the stethoscope here, they're very busy. You know, their time is money. You're not wasting your time. You have many responsibilities. You know, you're planning out something. You're working on you. Follow your heart, but take your brain, okay? So, you know, you're you're very loving and caring and compassionate, but you, you use logic in your situations and in your everyday life. You're not ruled by, you know, your nether regions like some people are. You know, you know when to um, get your shit back in check. I wish your life was as good as it looks on social media. So someone's life isn't as good and gravy as they make it look like. Okay, so maybe they have a social media page, maybe they don't. But their life to the outside world or the outside appearance to them, to other people about them and their family life, what goes on behind closed doors, if they have a wife or kids, family, whatever, their life seems better to everyone else than it really is, whether they have someone else or whether they're single, whatever the case. But everyone else thinks their life is so much better off than what they it really is. My wallet is like an onion, it makes me cry. So someone could have lost a significant amount of money or they're afraid of losing a significant amount of money. So maybe um, someone had a karmic hit, a financial hit, because they were playing games with you, you know? Um, things may be upside down for this person. Maybe they tried to, they feel like their world went upside down or you turned their world upside down. They weren't expecting that. They really were not expecting that. They weren't expecting to catch feelings for you. They weren't expecting, you know, it's like, I don't know. They expected you to hurt a little bit. I feel like you didn't hurt. You know, it's like, it doesn't sting a little bit. You don't miss me a little bit. You're not thinking about kissing me a little bit kind of energy. It's like, are you sure? Like... Are you sure you don't want to, you know, contact me, send me a text message? Are you sure you don't want to give me a call? You don't want to meet up for old time's sake? You want to grab a bite to eat? Like, are you sure? <clears throat> you know, something didn't elevate. Someone wasn't as elevated as they thought they were. Maybe someone didn't go through an ascension. Maybe someone didn't want to change. They didn't want to grow up. They like being in their childish behavior. This could be someone who's in, like, their king of queen of wands energy. You know, they, you know, non-committal, very restless, you know, they don't want to put in the hard work and do an ascension, you know, if they're comfortable where they're at, they don't want to rock the boat, even if it's really mundane and miserable for themselves, they were hiding something, they were, they could have been wearing a disguise, they could have been disguising their true intentions or their personality, going to bed, having a sore fight, so they could have picked a fight with you, you know, being childish, playing games, and it was supposed to be, um, it wasn't supposed to end up with the permanent ending. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Like someone was trying to fight with you and they wanted to win. So maybe, hopefully they're not in a situation with somebody else but trophy. They wanted to win. So maybe they're not used to winning and they liked feeling like you, I don't know, maybe you let them win or maybe you just like, you, you know, you didn't really deal with altercations or conflicts. So you're just like, eh, you know, whatever. And so this person may have gotten used to that. So they could have like started picking fights just so they could win and feel better about themselves. Um, it can also be that they were wearing a disguise and they were just wanting to get you into bed with them. You know, they were just, they had dark intentions. So they were thinking about you in an intimate way, having fantasies about you possibly. And so a relationship wasn't necessarily this person's primary, primary, um, reasoning for hooking up with you in the first place now they're trying to limbo under something okay so now they're holding secrets uh, maybe they're being secretive with a notebook here uh, maybe someone's taking notes they're looking back on something so they could be looking back like on your exchange on your conversations and they're trying to figure out how to duck over under something it's like okay how do i get myself out of this mess so if you guys sent text message you know dms whatever however you were communicating this person is going back and looking over this like and it could have been a lot of communication you know maybe there was a significant argument where you guys were like texting crazy back and forth something like that but there's something that this person's going back and reading with the notebook. There's some sort of notes. There's something that this person is going back and trying to figure out. It's like, okay, how do I dig myself out of this mess? Because now I feel like they may be starting to regret playing games with you. Boots, making the bed, telling a secret. So this person may, you know, have a secret that, you know, they want to have their boots under your bed, maybe on a more permanent basis or... You know, like they just, they have a secret to tell you. Maybe they took their boots and put them under someone else's bed and they're trying to limbo under that. So maybe they started a fight with you so they could go hook up with someone else. And they don't want you to find out about this, but you're not stupid. If you're tapped in, you may know. <clears throat> like I said, this person could be in their King of Queen and Wands energy. So they could have, you know, um, felt justified. You know, they felt like they won the argument. They felt like they were justified with the trophy energy that came out and with the sword fight and going to bed. So they may have felt like they... and I feel like they intended to do this. So someone intentionally picked a fight with you so that they felt justified in sleeping with somebody else. And they have a secret to tell you that their boots were under someone else's bed. Someone wanted you to save them. It's like somebody expected you to save them without having to do the work symbol. Someone was making a lot of noise. Like maybe that's how they got in your energy or tapped into your energy. Maybe they connected with you like on a spiritual level, religious, maybe shared interest, something like that. Um, maybe they thought you were using them as a life preserver. Maybe they thought you were codependent and just using them. So they thought it was fair game to play games with you, which was messed up. And you blew the whistle. Okay, something got, some, some whistle has been blown here, and there's a bride here. So, someone could be blowing the whistle that someone's actually married, or someone could be blowing the whistle that they possibly want to put a ring on it and make you their bride, okay? So that could be significant. I heard if you liked it, you should have put a ring on it. So, you know, while this person was playing games, putting their boots under someone else's bed... You know, they, they could be looking at you as wifey or husband material now. They're, they're like, oh shit, what did I do? You know, this person was actually pretty cool. You know, we connected. You know, maybe you have good chemistry in between the sheets and whatnot. And um, this person may be realizing they fucked up. Maybe they thought you were too different at first. Maybe because you're so focused. You could be stubborn, you know, you have a good memory, so, you know, someone could be remembering you or thinking about something, this could be you or the other person or somebody else here, but there's memories of something, and someone is remembering something a little too well, it's like, you know, especially if they were fantasizing about you and you were intimate with this person or vice versa, you know, you can't just wipe those memories away, this person may want to make good memories with you in the future, this kind of came out sideways, but almost upside down, but you could be a mystery to this person. Maybe your memory is a mystery. Maybe some things you remember, some things you don't. Uh, maybe this person has problems 
you know, with selective memory. Um, have, <laughs> have you ever heard that? You know, parents a lot of times tell their kids they have selective memory. So someone's selective memory may be a mystery. It's kind of like they'll, they'll acknowledge certain subjects or something like that, but it's like they completely avoid um, a subject or a topic. So say you send this person like five text messages and they'll respond to like one or two. And then like, I don't know, a week later, they'll go back and like respond to something that you said a week ago and you're just like, what the fuck? Like, huh? We're already past that. Like something's not making sense. Somebody was not at peace, though. So someone was someone was conflicted. Someone couldn't be at peace. Someone was not at rest. Maybe it was you while dealing with this person if you knew they were playing around. But it's also like they're restless. Like I told you, it's that, that wand energy. You're being guided by your instincts. So you don't need proof of something. If you feel something is off, you're just like, mm, no, deuces, I'm out. If you don't sit around and wait for the other shoe to drop, you just move on with a smile on your face and you're good and you're fine and, you know, life goes on. You know, you've got shit to do. You don't sit around crying about anything, you just move on. This person, someone had some healing to do. So someone couldn't rest because they had some healing to do, but they didn't want to go through the rebirth. It was too painful. It was like it was painful for someone to want to heal. Maybe you even told this person how to heal or tried to help them. You know, but they didn't see something as sacred. They didn't value your opinion or they didn't take your advice. It's like they kind of completely blew you off and overlooked it. Like I said, if you sent them like five text messages and like maybe they skimmed through it or they didn't even pay attention, like they completely blew over the most important parts you were trying to help them with. You know what I'm saying? Like if this person needed to heal and you're a healer, if you're into spirituality um, or you're religious, but you're really good, um, at helping people heal or whatever. Uh, maybe you're just a therapist or a psychologist. I don't know what a counselor, whatever you do. Um, you were trying to help someone and you weren't doing it in a condescending way. You were being a friend, you know, you were doing it, you know, for the right reasons. And it was coming from a really good space, but they completely overlooked it and they completely missed the sacred knowledge. They didn't value you as sacred and they didn't take your knowledge as like serious. They completely, it was like that, maybe that's how they got in the door. It's like, oh, you can help me heal or we can heal each other kind of thing. Um, maybe you both needed something at the time and they were like, okay, well, this will be like an equal give and take kind of thing. We'll both benefit from it, which really isn't like necessarily like a relationship, that would be more of like a symbiotic relationship, you know, it's like someone trying to be a parasite, but it's like, wait, 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 you benefit from it too, so, you know, I'm not a complete parasite, like, let me leech off of you, but, you know, you'll benefit from it too, like, as long as I'm sucking you, you know, like, as long as you let me do this to you, like, um, I'll keep the bacteria off your back, or, you know, like, something like that, it's like, they, they tried to make it sound, they tried, to, they tried to make it sound like, what they wanted wasn't as dark as it really was, like, their intentions. Like, they really just wanted something from you, and I feel like it's sex, you know, intimacy, but without all the strings attached. And it's like, but wait, you know, like, if you have an itch to scratch, I can scratch that for you. Like, we're going to both benefit from this kind of thing. But really, it was just them wanting something from you, and they were just trying to sell you. Like, they were a good salesman, whoever this person was. You know, they sold themselves. They sold a story. Okay, and you may have bought it at first. You're just like, oh, okay. Um, let, let's see how this goes. But then your instincts kicked in. And you could be at a distance from this person. So someone may have to travel. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. There's there's a gap. You're not you're not on the same wavelength here when it comes to emotionally. Like I said, they were wanting something a little bit different than you were wanting. Um, and they they were willing to sell you a pitch spin you a story to get what they wanted but they could also be physically at a distance from you so they thought maybe it would be easier to kind of get away with this or with something someone is still figuring themselves out their sexuality so someone may have been confused at first with some sort of aspect about their sexuality do they want to be monogamous do they want to be polygamous do they want to be bisexual do they want to be trans whatever the issue was someone may have struggled with their sexuality um, and they may have acted like 
they weren't confused about their sexuality, but they really were. Maybe they have someone else they were dealing with, too, or multiple people, like the King or Queen of Wands energy. Once again, it keeps coming out. Um, energetically, anyway. Energetically, it keeps coming out. So it's like somebody wanted, you know, all the fun without the commitment. They could have been a gold digger. Or they maybe thought you were. They want money or being used. They could have thought you were using them. So it's like... They may have, you know, that could have been part of that emotionally distanced thing, okay? So this person was interested in sex, and they thought maybe you were interested in money. So maybe, you know, when you guys hooked up, this person would throw a few bucks your way. Um, and maybe at one time it made you even feel cheap. Like, what the fuck is this person doing? Like, I don't expect anything from this person. Like, we're just supposed to be having a good time. Like... Even if it was just casual, maybe if you just hooked up, like, and hung out, like, did the Netflix and chill thing, whatever, um, you know, some Hulu and some chicken, whatever the situation was, like, I don't know, like, man, this person had you fucked up, they hurt your feelings, they really did hurt your feelings, someone took a gamble, they took a risk, okay, Problems with addictions or gambling bad with finances, okay? Maybe they assumed you were a gold digger, maybe because you were low on finances. So they just assumed as long as, you know, um, you let them get what they want, if they throw a little bit of money your way. But you know what that's called? Yeah, the oldest profession in the world, prostitution. And as the energy I'm picking up, you're not a prostitute. And this was actually offensive to you to be treated in this kind of way. Maybe you just have high standards, okay? So maybe having high standards doesn't make you a gold digger. Maybe you just, you know, maybe you prefer Texas Roadhouse to McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? Like, if someone's going to offer to take you out, why would you pick, you know? But if that's all someone could afford, you would be happy with McDonald's. But you know damn well that this mofo right here can afford Texas Roadhouse. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's not what it's about. It's not about money. But this person pegged you as like a gold digger energy. They had a misconception about you. And you were confused about them possibly and about what they wanted. And they took a risk and it backfired on them. And this person could also have a sex addiction. They were confused about their sexuality, what they wanted to do. And they took a risk. And they were like, oh, well, this person's a gold digger anyway. You know, it's okay to use them. It's okay to play games with them. So they were playing games with you. And once again, they're justifying their shitty ass behavior. Fire sign Aries Leo Sag could be significant here. Like they kept justifying their behavior. And that's part of that unhealed process that this person was going through. They didn't want to heal. They just used it as a guise, you know, because you're busy. You have shit to do. If you have a platform, if you work, you know, um, maybe you make stuff. I don't know. Whatever it is you do, you're a busy person. You don't sit around. Like, your time is valuable. It doesn't matter what you do. You don't sit around wasting your time. Even if you're just sitting home alone in your bed snuggled up, that's your time. You're like, that's my time, bitch. You're on my time. It's like you're not you're not trying to waste your time. That's you time. That's your rest recuperation time. That's your getting grounded time. And someone took advantage of you and your rest and you wasted some energy. You know, even if you can, you know, get your energy back, maybe if you regenerate your energy and you can get it back, that's not the point. Okay? It is so not the point. This this person took advantage of the situation and they really played themselves out of this because you were a good one and you really did try to help this person whoever you are you really did try to help yeah they struck out so someone here struck out struck out in the love department they swung and they missed somebody did so somebody missed out Yeah, because someone didn't offer you your flowers. Someone wants to partner up with you, though. It could be this person because they see you as lucky. They see you as, you know, a good luck charm. And now someone wants to be loyal to you and bring you some flowers. They see how loving and caring you are. And they're, oh man, this person's wanting to get back in your good graces, like at any cost. It's like, how did I fuck this up? Like, this person really does have some feelings. And if it's not this person, somebody else wants to. But I feel like this person wants to get back in your good graces. But somebody wants to be loyal to you. They want to partner up with you. 
And with the loyalty here with Toto, I don't know if it's necessarily this person that can be loyal because they proved to you in the past that they were not necessarily the most loyal person. So, I don't know if it's them or someone else. All right, so you can have two people that want to be loyal to you all of a sudden. <laughs> we have two Totos. The problem is that someone was a flying monkey and someone, um, you know, was a high priest or priestess in the reverse here. Or they were just, they were a flying monkey and they were just loyal to a high priest or priestess. You know, they were a coward. They were, you know, a coward. And they could have been in their feminine energy. Um, or they could have been disloyal to you with an empress, another feminine, okay? So they could have betrayed you with a feminine energy. So, like I said, somebody was not loyal, and so they hooked up with a feminine. <clears throat> so if they said that they weren't dealing with someone, they were. Once again, luck. Your good luck really has someone sad because they didn't offer you your flowers they were not compassionate towards you you know you could have even licked their popsicle stick and everything you see that and they still weren't compassionate to you i mean i just gotta say it i just gotta say it it's in the picture i mean <laughs> don't get mad at me maybe you were really good at it too and they were like damn <laughs> i don't maybe they let someone else lick their popsicle stick you know what i'm saying like Ah, but they were disloyal to you. They, you know. Yeah, they gave their wand to someone else. They let someone else play with the wand. The Ace of Wands in the reverse. They let someone else play with the wand. They gave someone else your gift. Something that was meant for you. Or some, you know, the one they wish they would have given to you. Yeah, so, you know, Page of Pentacles. So, there could be a message about money or, you know, that's why this person may have thought you were a gold digger. So, maybe if you're low on finances or something, this person's like, oh, this, one, this one's not for me. They're just with me for my money. That's not how you roll. You know, just because you have standards doesn't mean you're a gold digger, whoever you are. Plus, you don't need that shit. You have your own Ace of Pentacles. You're getting a message about money. A new start, a new beginning, a new relationship, job, move, um, a large, you know, chunk of change here. You don't need their sorry ass because you got your own money. You're financially secure. This person was a karmic. This was a risky commitment, and they proved to you that they were there to teach you a lesson. You learned your lesson. Hopefully, they learned theirs so that they don't repeat this cycle. They taught you a lesson. Okay, and you learned it. You're like, okay, yeah, I've already been here before. That's why you left. So it's like, you know what, been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Yeah, not my thing. Maybe you were just meant to teach them a lesson. They were too much in their ego and their pride, and they took advantage of the situation here. You could be in your King of Swords energy. You're not playing with the bullshit. So someone has some memory. So this karmic is, you know, thinking back, remembering how they juggled somebody. Just because somebody, you know, and they could have made a bad decision. They chose someone else. And, you know, it's not growing. Something is not abundant with the decision they made because they were juggling. So they could have, you know, went back to somebody from the past. They could have been juggling you and someone from the past. Or you could have been from their past. They lied about it, so they could have lied about hooking up with someone. They rushed in with some quick lies about hooking up with someone that they had shared memories with or someone from the past here. So this could have been, you know, an ex-spouse, lover, or something like that. But someone rushed in real quick with some slick shit. Or this was you that they rushed in, you know, if you were someone that they used to know. Um... You know, they rushed in with some quick lies to get you in that bed because they were missing those sweet kisses, and um, you found you caught them up. They got caught up in their own bullshit. They lied. They didn't have to say it. They didn't have to say That's the thing is this person thinks you need solid proof. You don't need proof of shit. 
You just don't. You are guided by your instincts. And that could scare the hell out of this person, but you know what? Then they shouldn't be messing with you. If they can't handle you, then they don't need to be messing with you. You know what I mean? Can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen. Alright, anything else? Alright, I'm gonna move on to my message cards. Somebody really thought that they had enough time to go back and forth. They're feeling butterflies. Someone will be passing soon in the reverse. Someone could have passed. You won't be surprised. There was no good reason. So maybe there was a funeral or someone passed. And so maybe there was a gathering or get together and someone ran into an old flame or something at some sort of gathering. Um, but someone could know that they're going to pass or someone could be passing sooner. Maybe they said, I'm sick and I'm dying and I need you to, you know, this is like my bucket list. I need you to like have sex with me right now. <laughs> like you're not surprised by someone's tricks, whatever it is. Like, it's like, uh, you're not surprised. There just really is no good reason. It's like, but we were standing by the casket and, you know, he or she was just looking at me and, you know, they hugged me and my, you know, mm -hmm. something could be happening in the next three to six months. Something significant here. This person may be reaching out to you in the next three to six months. Ah, send someone to pick this up, different vehicle. So someone could have got a different vehicle. They're going to roll up in a different vehicle than you're used to seeing them. <clears throat> or this is you, you could be getting a new car. Um, someone could be having their friend pick them up to drive up on you, roll up on you, run into you in public. Someone someone wants to do something here. They can't stop thinking about you. Someone's feeling butterflies. But they may have gotten a different vehicle. Someone feels embarrassed or ashamed. So they may feel bad about what they did to you, about how they treated you. And this person maybe doesn't apologize they usually feel like they're always right but they're actually ashamed or embarrassed you know about what they did to you and maybe you're just not used to hearing i'm sorry from this person because they just don't say it this person's really good at the gaslighting bullshit but they're not good at saying sorry anything else So life's a bitch ever since you left their life. Beggars can't be choosers and the almighty dollar. So, you know, maybe now they're broke. You know, um, maybe they think that um, you'll just take them back because maybe they have money. So maybe because your life was difficult or is difficult, maybe they think that you'll just hook up with them and they can use their money. But they put themselves in hot water by doing something. If they did anything to make your life intentionally more difficult, um, the burning question is why? What's going on? They did something impatiently. Good things come to those who wait and crystal clear. You're seeing something crystal clear. You have your own money now. Or you're going to. So you're not begging anyone. You're not, you're not desperate. So maybe someone thinks you're desperate because of money. But now someone's seeing something clear. So if this person thought you were a gold digger, they're realizing they fucked up. Because their life got more difficult ever since they assumed that about you and you walked away from them. M, N, O, or P could be significant and a Gemini could be significant. U, V, W, X, Y, Z could be significant. A Libra could have been the one to kick the bucket or that was someone's karma something had to be balanced out someone had to pass away they did not have a positive outcome um so you could know someone who kicked the bucket or be a libra or something needed to be balanced out and someone didn't have a positive outcome and that was you know part of their lifelong karma maybe just because someone was just such a shitty person you know like i don't know i don't make the rules i'm yeah 
I'm not the judge, jury, and executioner. But people do rack up spiritual karmic debt. Okay, so a memory. Someone wants you to think about them or you're having memories of someone. Someone may be trying to jog your memory about them, but they don't have a clean slate. Clean slates in the reverse. They don't have a new start or a new beginning. So maybe because of you remembering what they did to you. <laughs> Maybe hearing that they didn't get a clean slate after what they did to you is going to be a sigh of relief for you. You know, once been, twice shy. So just because this person's thinking about you or you're thinking about them doesn't necessarily mean they get a do-over. You know, there isn't a mulligan all, all the time, you know? It's like, shame, you know, screw me once, you know, shame on you. Screw me twice, shame on me. Like, you're... Yeah. Scorpio could be significant... So this person is someone that, you know, hurt you once before. Yeah, someone didn't get their 15 minutes of fame. They didn't get their clean slate. If they went elsewhere, the grass was not greener. You know what I'm saying? Um, if they hooked up with someone from their past and cheated on you whether it was you know someone new or someone from the past whatever the case it didn't work out the way they thought it was going to <sighs> under his or her thumb and arrest so someone wants to have someone under his or her thumb because they could be afraid of being arrested for something as well that's interesting or someone is trying to control a person by getting them arrested Back to square one and blessing in disguise. So the person that they chose over you, that they went back to, or they, you know, decided to screw around with, they could have had them arrested as a control tactic. It's like, oh, hell no, you want to cheat on me? You want to leave me? You want to go back to that person? I'm going to show you your ass. So if this person was juggling two people, um, one of y'all had his ass arrested, or her. Possibly in the winter time. So in the winter time, that could have been significant. That fell out of the bottom. So somebody's ass could have gotten arrested in the winter time. To add insult to injury. To add insult to injury, this person is just starting to see the light. That this person was thick as thieves with a group of people, birds of a feather flocked together. This this person that had them arrested, that they were, you know, sneaking off to see and juggling you with. Um, they were part of a group that. Um, you know, wasn't a good person, you know, not a good group. Um, they were trying to possibly bully or intimidate this person into making the right choice, which would be them, not you. Um, and they tried to get creative with this shit. There was a group of people they could have called their family, their posse, a group of people here. They were sick as thieves. They could have made some allegations like, oh, this person hit me. They slapped him. And all these people are like, yeah, I saw it. I saw it with my own two eyes. Like, we saw the whole thing. Like... <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. It's not funny. It's not, but it's like... <laughs> it's like a whole group of people swearing to God they saw something that never fucking happened. Like, it just didn't happen. <laughs> like, I just feel like it was all a lie. Like... And they're like, we saw it all. We saw everything. Like, oh my God. I'm. It's not funny. I'm... Mm. Yeah, someone's flying the coop, you know? Someone doesn't want someone, you know, not in my backyard. Someone tried to get creative. They didn't want someone around. So maybe they snuck around the back and broke into a home they shared together. Or, you know, like someone did some criminal trespassing shit. And then when they got caught, they're like, oh, hey, this person hit me. Like they invited me over and then they hit me and like got them arrested in their own fucking house. Something's only a matter of time, though. Someone was just a thief. And guess what? It wasn't you, Collective. <laughs> You, they thought you were the gold digger. No, 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 no. Not you. You know how to weather the storm, though. You're going to get through this. You know how to beat the odds. You're good. But someone is going to try to weather the storm, and they're trying to get through it. So someone could be leaving, or, you know, there could be a separation here, especially after someone got arrested. Like, things may be kind of toxic. 
Yeah, this thief, by hook or crook, they were willing to win at any cost, and they brought some trials and tribulations upon themselves. Court could be significant. You know, they may have to go to court and testify. Virgo could be significant here. Someone's definitely hitting the panic button. All right, let's close this out. <laughs> I saw everything. <laughs> It's like a whole group of friends or family like making up a load of bullshit just to have someone arrested so someone they like doesn't go to jail. C could be significant, person, place, or thing. If it's a name, it could be first, middle, last, initial. B. Oh, God. D. Someone could claim to have some sort of evidence burned on a CD or a disc or something. I don't know. A. Someone may have called a cab and got the hell out of Dodge. G. They knew their ass was getting ready. <laughs> I just heard you asked Fitton to get arrested, so I don't know who that was for, but someone got the fuck out of there because it was Fitton to get arrested. So someone got ran down the road, called a cab, called an Uber or something. You, yeah, they didn't they didn't stick around. Someone didn't get the chance to get arrested because they got the hell out of there before the cops arrived. So I don't, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. A, A, someone could have been under the influence. Someone could have been drinking. And so they're like, uh-uh, I'm out. <laughs> I'm going to my buddy's house down the road. <laughs> B. All right, so we have B, B, C, D. Um, someone could also be a cross-dresser. A, A, G, N, U. I hope this helps. Have a good night.